Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're coming back to my channel, welcome back you guys. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Ammon. And in this channel, you will find me guiding you through each step on how to create these easy, affordable, and creative DIY projects. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified each time I post a new video on this channel. So as you all have already read from today's title, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made this beautiful this beautiful floral mirror. Watch till the end to see how I made this floral mirror. And for those of you who are inspired to actually try making this DIY project but really don't know how to really start off, you clicked on the right video. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys each step and guiding you through on how I make this beautiful floral mirror, flower mirror, rose mirror, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna stick with floral mirror, so <laughs> that's the one I'm gonna go with. So let's dive into the video. So without further ado, let's begin with the video. The supplies you will need to make this DIY project is of course a mirror, lots of artificial roses, a glue gun, lots of glue sticks, and scissors. To get started, I'm going to first clean the mirror using some Windex once that's clean. Next, I'm going to grab the roses. I actually ended up buying like a bunch of them from Dollarama as you can see. So the flowers are actually tied up with a string and pretty much I'm going to remove the strings so that way I have individual roses. Once that's complete, I'm going to remove the stems for each of the roses so that it looks like this. And using a hot glue gun, I'm going to place some glue onto the roses and start placing them onto the mirror. For the pattern, I'm going to start off with the white roses and then ending off with the pinks. And I'm just going to continue gluing on the roses. minutes later so far I'm halfway there it's starting to actually look like the ones I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram which is good just a tip um, if you decide to use a bigger size mirror like me for this project um, it will take you more time to finish it but it's definitely worth the wait and here is the finished look. I'm really glad to see how the mirror came out. It took a lot of time to actually make this and I'm glad that all my hard work paid off. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. If you made it till the end, thank you so much for watching the full video. If you guys want to see more videos like these, don't forget to comment down below. I love getting suggestions from you guys and if you guys want me to try making some different DIY projects that you guys want to see on this channel, don't forget to DM me on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore amapreetmatharoo. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my posts. For all my video updates, you can check me out on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore mfreemathru. And also you can follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is underscore mfreemathru as well. The links are down in the description below and just down here as well. And today's video shout out goes to Chloe McAdams. Shout out to you. In order to get a video shout out, all you have to do is just give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you'll be instantly entered in to get a shout out in my next video and i will see you guys in my next video very soon take care stay safe and bye